Aloha, everybody! It is I, the Great Clements, and today I'm playing a Wii game called Punch-Out! Most people call it Punch-Out Wii because this is actually a remake, well, not a remake, but it's a reimagining of a classic NES game called Punch-Out, which also had a sequel called Super Punch-Out, and I believe it had a whole bunch of arcade versions as well. But uh, the original Punch-Out on NES ha had a lot of crazy characters. It had you playing the role of Little Mac, a very short boxer who I think is a hobbit or something. He's shorter than everybody. He's shorter than his trainer, he's shorter than the audience, he's shorter than the boxer. It's the true underdog character, basically. Here's all the avatars of, or the me's of my friends and me. Just thought you'd be interested to know that. <laughs> So anyway, this isn't your typical boxing game. It's not like a big button masher like some are. This is a big pattern recognition and boss strategy type of game. You have to know how to fight guys. You have to know how they do their moves. You have to know when they do their moves. It's a real thinking man's boxing game. It's a real reflex and memorization type of game. And if you play the NES game, you know how awesome this, this series is. It's fantastic. And uh, first up, we're going to be taking on Glass Joe. Bonjour! Bonjour! <laughs> so, fun trivia, uh, during the intro sequence, Glass Joe can trip, or he can't trip. There's also an alternate intro where he doesn't trip and he just does his taunt as usual. He's the only character to have a different intro. So anyway, I guess I should explain the basics. But first, when Glass Joe does a little taunt like that, the minute he comes back, punch him in the face before he gets right in front of you, and you will knock him out instantly. It doesn't matter how big his health bar is, it will knock him down instantly. I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of cool tricks to knock out boxers, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Let me explain the basics. Basically, Lil Mac has two, ki two, ty bleh, two types of punches. You can do a gut punch, a jab punch, which is basically a punch in the face. And you hold up and then push the A button to punch him in the face, and you don't hold up to punch him in the gut. He can dodge left and right, he can duck, and he can block attacks with his own boxing gloves. And basically you hold up to block, you hold down to duck, and you move left or right to dodge. And dodging is going to be essential if you want to beat this game, obviously. Uh, by blocking attacks, he'll actually lose one heart on his heart meter. And if your heart meter goes all the way to zero, you will be tired and out of breath, and you can't throw punches or defend yourself until you dodge an attack, and then your, health, your heart meter will replenish and go back to normal. The heart meter doesn't uh, really matter towards your health bar. I think you might take more damage when you're out of heart, but uh, you know, just make sure you don't get you don't block too much. Right now, I'm keeping him alive because I want to get to round two so that we can see the intermission cutscene, and I'm going to be doing this with every boxer so you can see their their fun personalities. Let's say I could totally kick his ass. Attention, mon menton, ne frappe pas mon menton. It's shatter time, baby. Show Glass Joe what it's like to be hit by Lil Mac. And the man behind Lil Mac in the corner was his trainer, Doc Lewis. Doc Lewis was also in the original NES game. Uh, unlike the NES game, he has a real fondness of chocolate in the Wii version. <laughs> We'll get to that later, but uh, anywho, Glass Joe is the easy battle. He's the tutorial battle. If you lose to Glass Joe, you are the worst gamer in the world. I give this game to my friends who can't play video games, and they can beat Glass Joe. Everybody beats Glass Joe, and if you don't, you're a horrible human being. <laughs> I guess you're wondering about those star punches. Every time you hit a, hit a boxer when he's caught off guard, or when he's doing a taunt or something, you might earn a star punch. You can build up three star punches. One hurts pretty good, two hurts really good, and three is pretty much an instant, well, not always, but it's a damn strong punch that will probably knock the motherfucker out. And it's also good for knocking the opponent out. So yeah, if you get hit while you have stars, you will lose them automatically, so you don't want to get hit as soon as you get stars. It's nice to have star punches, believe me. 
Unstoppable kid, unstoppable. You fight like a lion. A lion. I thank you, Doc Lewis. But it is the intro fight, and Glass Joe is a joke. He only won one match in his career. He's lost 99. Well, I guess now he's lost 100. But, uh, I don't know how he won that one match. <laughs> Well, folks, in part two, we'll be taking on Von Kaiser, so, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy this LP, because it's going to be fantastic. See you then.